murder of George Floyd was horrific, uh, but it recalls a history in Virginia and in our nation uh, where African Americans, and particularly African American men, are presumed to be guilty, are treated inhumanely, are given no due process, and have their lives impacted, in some cases taken away uh, in an instant. Uh, and I think that in the interest of speaking truth to power here, particularly on the campus of Virginia State University, we can't just talk theoretically about what generally happens, but uh, we have a real world example uh, where uh, I was falsely accused uh, in 2019 uh, from uh, the Washington Post now saying these false accusations, uh, make, raising that question, uh, and whether it was a rush to judgment. Everyone here on the stage called for my immediate resignation, including Terry McAuliffe three minutes after a press release came out. He treated me uh, like George Floyd. Uh, he treated me like Emmett Till, no due process, immediately assumed my guilt. Uh, I have a son and I have a daughter. I don't ever want my daughter to be uh, assaulted. I don't want my son to be falsely accused. And yet this is the real world that we live in. Uh, and so we need to speak truth to power and be very clear okay. about how that Thank impacts you. people's lives. Thank you, Lieutenant Governor. And uh, we'll stay with you, but the next question comes from Cheryl Miller. The Democratic Party has a 55-45 majority in the House of Delegates and a 21-18 majority in the State Senate. Should Republicans le reclaim either or both of those chambers within the next four years, how and where can you find common ground? Lieutenant Governor? We have to find common ground in creating opportunity for all Virginians. I'm proud that as Lieutenant Governor, I've been able to work across the aisle, develop relationships and friendships with Democrats and Republicans uh, in the Senate. Our greatest bipartisan compromise during my time in office was the expansion of Medicaid, uh, where I broke the tie votes, uh, and now 500,000 more Virginians have health insurance today as a result. It was voted uh, affirmatively on a bipartisan basis on final passage. This is what we have to do to make sure that people have more health care, higher wages, that their children, regardless of where they come from, are treated equally or treated fairly, that just because of uh, who you are and what connections you have, you don't get a different set of justice uh, in our Commonwealth. Uh, and that is where we've got to find common ground, and I would continue to do that as governor. Thank you. Delegate? I can tell you that going to Virginia Military Institute and shaving my head bald, wearing